Okay, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to ILP. This ILP uh, course is something that the faculty together decided really was an important capstone to the SOM experience. You know, uh, when we revamped our curriculum, we brought in all these different perspectives and, and uh, different ways of looking at things, but what we decided was that we really needed a, a way to, to integrate those back together. Um, you know, there's no situation in management that really is a kind of a single focus, uh, uh, single solution um, uh, uh, problem. And uh, so every problem you're going to confront is going to have all of these different dimensions. We just come back off of international experience where um, everyone in the room had seen a very diverse set of uh, ev events and been to various different meetings throughout the world um, and had lots of new perspectives on things. And this course was a great opportunity to examine some very interesting cases from ones we are very familiar with to some which were completely new to all of us. The first case of the integrated leadership perspective that we tackled together was centered on Brandeis University and the Rose Art Museum. The university itself was in financial crisis. Um, this was kind of a, a perfect storm of negative factors converging. So we had the financial meltdown of 2008 in through 2009, this was early 2009. We had uh, speculation and unfortunately some um, involvement with Madoff investments that put donors to Brandeis at particular risk. Um, and then we had a treasure trove of the Rose Art Museum that was sitting um, within the auspices of Brandeis University. The question became, does the university president have the authority and the political capital to leverage those assets in a new way. One of the um, questions that we were asked to prepare before we came into the class was to look at the different options um, and what would be available to the dean of the school. So we had to look at the income statement, work out exactly what the liquidity shortfall was, and if the solution was not going to be to liquidate some of the art holdings, what, what else could be done? Um, how much would need to be raised? How quickly? For this class, um the way it's going to work is that uh, um, I'm going to uh, introduce and, and turn things over to Ted in just a minute. He's going to work with you on the management side of things and uh, the um, really the economic challenge uh, of the case. Uh, then after the break, uh, I'm going to work with you on the endowment side and also on the art. What was very interesting about this case in particular was that the fact that it was co-taught with Dean Schneider, who uh, has obviously a background as head of um, Booth Business School and, and here at SOM, also as an economist, um, and compared to the background of Professor Gertzman, who is, is known for his work that he's done on financial valuations and also happens to be an expert in art valuations too. So we, we had some two very solid technical perspectives there. Having multiple professors with multiple various, I guess, educational backgrounds, uh, perspectives on a particular case or a particular topic is, is greatly helpful. By bringing a different perspective, the, the professor keeps you on your toes on a different topic. So you might be talking about macroeconomics with one professor, but at the same time talking about corporate finance with another professor and really showing you how these two topics are not uh, discrete but actually very much integrated in the real world I think is, is hugely beneficial. Suppose there was no Rose Museum at Brandeis, or the board and the president just decided art is too tricky. We don't want to mess with it. It's going to cause too much of a problem. What, what could you do to deal with this? When endowment goes down, giving goes down, and you've got a problem. Dean Schneider dwelled for quite some time on the mistakes that the Dean of Brandeis had made and how he had made this, this, the decision to um, look for a seller um, almost unilaterally and had not kept the various groups who would be interested in the outcome of this informed appropriately and had not given the, them a forum to air their concerns and offered his own suggestions and how he felt this could have man been managed significantly better than it was. The dean really puts you, keeps you on your toes he, and he really pushes you. You know, he, he knows that we've got a lot to offer and he makes sure that uh, you're contributing in the, to the best of your abilities and, and really by doing that uh, it's, you, you're able to extract uh, from the educational process in the classroom and, and that's really fun to watch. What kind of assumptions about alpha is it going to take in order to get you 
to having an expected return over your benchmark? How much alpha do you have to assume you're going to make? And really, you kind of have to assume that you're making about 300 basis, 3% uh, th per year extra from your hedge funds. You think that's possible? Professor Getzman was really taking the lead on building out a total balance sheet, which was a new concept that integrated both accounting principles of assets, liabilities, owner's equity, with the qualitative dimensions that Dean Snyder had introduced in the Brandeis case in the first half. So Dean Snyder set the tone. He started off the class, um, and then Professor Getzman followed up with both the endowment and balance sheet analysis, as well as the takeaways. They were both engaged in the class the whole time, even if only one of them was up at the front of the room. Um, and that dual presence was impactful and I think contributed to the amount that students learned. The Brandeis case was a great springboard to the rest of ILP because of its focus on leadership. And from the very first day at SOM, uh, we are not only identified, but also motivated um, to be leaders in everything that we do. Um, it also set the precedent of team teaching for this class, which has continued um, with Judy Chevalier and Art Swerzy and others coming in and saying, you know, here's how the skills that you learned with me apply. It was a pretty cool first class to start with. I'll see you next Monday. <laughs>